Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. All right, so we've uh, gone out exploring into the big wide world. We now have a shield, which gives us a defense of 5-5. Five, five. That means we got a defense of 5 on melee and a defense of 5 on uh, range. So that, <laughs> that will help in the caves because we were starting to run into a problem where people were shooting stuff at us and, and it was taking a chunk of life. I, I never... I probably had to go back and look and find out uh, if anybody knows. Do do chime in. When the bats fly into you, does that count as ranged or melee? I mean, technically the bats are hitting you. But we're about to see somebody who uses bats as a weapon. I mean... It's like the question of, is a sword melee if it's thrown at you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that sounds about right that the bats are melee. I, I... Unfortunately, I hate, I hate the stupid bats. I hate them with, I hate them with a deep and abiding passion. I hated them then, I hate them now. They're, they're just a, a pain to hit. Although, I never really thought about the fact that this came out as, as one of those, like, hey, Zelda was a big hit. We should do some more Zelda-like games. And ever since I read that that was one of the primary motivations for SNK coming out with this game, and there, there were two or three other companion games that came out about the same time trying to capitalize on the Legend of Zelda stuff, that I really noticed the... the Zelda-like aspects of of the game itself. Um, although one of the other games that was a little more contemporaneous to this that Beach Duck will probably remember is uh, Willow. Willow came out about this time and as a game... Alright, I'm going to come back to this cave a little bit later. Uh, we're not... I, I want to finish clearing out a couple things over there first. Uh, yeah, Willow came out about the same time. I forgot to start my timer. There we go. Uh, all right, we'll figure out how long it goes. And Willow is based off of, or I'm going to put air quotes on based. It was loosely, <laughs> loosely reminded of the game. I instead of an actual adventuring party, you were Willow off good. And you happen to run into a, a vaguely uh, reminiscent facial feature of the people from the movie. Yeah, yeah, this was the last NES game before they pivoted over to Neo Geo. And Steam has a for, uh, an SNK 40th anniversary game package that has all the stuff they did with Nintendo from the mid-70s up through this game here so if you're if you're a really big snk fan and you really liked uh the various games that they published with nintendo uh you can get a 40th anniversary package that has uh i forget what it starts with all right so we're charged up to the second level we can now break down rock walls uh so you can get the uh the ooh, that was one of the things we were needing to pick up. I, I do want to grind a little bit for some money, though. Um, yeah, so it, it's a it's a 40th anniversary collection of 24 games. Yeah, 24 games. I just I wasn't sure. Oh, you did. Oh good, then maybe you can answer a question for me. The only reason why I didn't buy it to do this series was I wasn't sure if it was the the original 
Crystallis, or if it was that horrible 2000 remake they did for the Game Boy Color, where they butchered the story and messed up the music and all, all sorts of other things that, <laughs> that, that, uh, yeah. That, that Game Boy Color port really should be buried next to E.T. If you want a really interesting story, go go look up the history of the E.T. cartridges. Really? It's in the Xbox version of the collection, but not, uh, not this one? Huh. There we go. A level is one of the things I was looking for. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> see, th this is where, this is where, um, I was mentioning that the older games seemed a little bit harder. You'll notice my, uh, where's my magic points? No. My magic points, when I leveled up, they stayed, my max went up, and my, my current went up. But my current deck didn't get refreshed up to my max. Oh, okay, good. So it is the NES version. I might go buy the, the package and then continue this playthrough using that version. Uh, you know, I'll just grind back up to there from with what I do today. Just for the better graphics and the easier game capture. <laughs> Although, I don't know. I, I'm having fun with this either way. But that is good to know. I, I may go I may go ahead and pick that up then. Maybe on next Friday. You know, when payday is. Hmm. Decisions in life. Alright. So the um where was I? Oh, I was talking about the magic points. Uh I don't know if you noticed, but when I leveled, my magic points didn't get refreshed. It it's like it just added the gain or level to both of them. So unlike later games, more contemporary games, where when you level up, you you get put set back to your max. And even some of the other contemporaries of the time, uh, you don't get that kind of help on uh, in this one. Ooh, medical herb. There we go. So now we got two medical herbs, an antidote, and some warp boots. Good. I do want to get a little bit more money though before walking in. I, well, actually, I just want I want to get a couple more uh, antidotes before entering into that area there because uh, I would really like a couple more herbs to have handy. Later, we will be able to find an item that will allow us to. Uh, replenish our magic. We don't have that one, so I, I'd like to have some alternative healing options available long before I need them, if that makes sense. Oh. Uh, oh, is that why they did that? That, okay, I was wondering what happened, because I've seen some really bad ports, and, and it makes an unfortunate amount of sense that it would be due to a copyright issue, and that the composer left SNK and kept the rights to their music. Okay. Alright, that, that makes an unfortunate amount of sense. Because, uh, yeah. Oh! Um, uh, Daily Tech News Show, one of the podcasts that I listen to on the regular, the host Tom Merritt does a little bit of a side project tied to DTNS called Know a Little More. Uh, and Know a Little More has its own, has its own podcast, separate podcast feed on ACAST. So if you don't want the whole thing, you just want to know a little more, I highly recommend it. And the, re the reason why that triggered is the most recent episode of Know a Little More is about the difference between copyrights, patents, and trademarks. Because you hear a lot of reporting about copyrights, patents, and trademarks. And unfortunately, the, the writers of said articles are either confused 
or just wrong. Okay. Before I walked in here, I meant to look and see what I needed. All right, so I got two herbs and eight. Uh, so anyway, uh, I highly recommend everybody go, go, go watch the latest. Know a little more, um, or listen. And uh, yeah, it, it's a really good primer on the difference between copyright, patents, and trademark. What they cover, what they don't, and well worth it. And subscribe to the podcast in itself. Uh, Tom's covered a lot of really good stuff. Okay, that's the end of pimping podcasts. We got two herbs, an antidote. I'm gonna and I. All right, let me get two more herbs and one more antidote. I think that ought to be enough. Yes, let me get one herb, two herb. Let's get one more antidote. And I think that'll be it. Yeah, so that gives me four four herbs, two antidotes, and a set of warp boots to get back here if things go horribly, horribly awry. Oh, let me also save a game. <laughs> Alright. Oh. I thank you again, Mr. Spokes. That I now now here's the next question. Do you, do you know why they changed the story? Because that was my other complaint with the Game Boy Color was they they made some really odd changes to the story. Especially if you're going to do this as a nostalgia play, why why make the changes that they did? And since I haven't gotten into, I haven't given the high level overview, I'm kind of revealing the story as you find out about it in the game. Uh, I, I'm, inten I'm being intentionally vague. So I'm curious if they thought that, you know, you can't have anything new without refreshing it first, or I don't know. I always wonder about those sorts of things. Like why, why would somebody decide, oh yeah, everybody loved that. Let's do it, but different. Because, uh, I mean, it, it was the original that we, it was the original that we loved and enjoyed. Come on down here. There we go. Hi. Oh, okay. Huh. I mean, I can, I can kind of see the grinding, but that was most games at this time. And given the the viewpoint, some of the some of the, I never I forgot to mention my gripe about the Game Boy Color version. One of the technical issues that plagued a lot of people was that the viewport on the Game Boy Color didn't encompass the entire rendered screen. So like. Uh, I'm having trouble talking and fighting at the same time. So, like, the the uh, rock-throwing guys could actually be in frame throwing rocks at you, and you couldn't see them. And, and that, I can, I can see where that would be a problem. Ah, yeah. But, I mean, if you're going to do a nostalgia play, then... Be upfront and make it nostalgic. Keep it, keep it true to, keep it true to the original game. You see my powers of focus. <laughs> uh, which happens in this version? Uh, losing focus or? <laughs> Here we go. I did not want to use that much magic already. Ready, set. Oh no, the vampire. Oh. Oh, Arrgh. aim.
Ah! Bats! Bats! There we go. Now we got them. Oh, things firing from the bottom and the game run- yeah. Yeah. You now have rabbit boots. Those will become important later. <laughs> and what do we have here? We have more cave in our cave. Um, yeah, but it doesn't happen as bad here. You can have some rocks come from outside the area. Uh-oh. Where are we now? We are at the next town. Oh, the rabbit boots? Yes, the rabbit boots are the most broken item in the game. They allow you to jump. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. We'll, we'll get into what they're for later. Uh, we are at the next town. I'm going to go ahead and save real quick before I forget. And we're going to take a little bit of a break. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, Instrument Repair, Upgrades and Construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.